Good morning. Guten Morgen. Maginden Umaga. Bonjour. I'm going to read some scripture here before I talk about um, what I'd like to um, share. I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 10 through 16. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 10 through 16. It says, But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. So, I'm just sharing my testimony here. I'm not a teacher. Um, I try to articulate myself in a manner that's easily understood but I also understand that this is a spiritual warfare so you're either going to understand my speech or not so lately there's going to be a car that's going to drive by and you know I apologize in advance <laughs> um Good morning again. <laughs> um, you would think that my dirt road doesn't have a lot of traffic, but I have a lot of older retired neighbors and I don't know what they do, but they just drive around. <laughs> it seems. So, back to my video, sorry. Um, I can hear another car. <laughs> and it's morning. It's just the start of the day. Anyways. <laughs> I know they're not going off to work. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but they're much older. Anyways. Um... Good morning again. <laughs> um, so what I was saying is, get back to focus. Again, my apologies. I think I'm going to redo this video. <laughs> oh, I don't have time. I got to go to work. So, um... Lately, I've, I, I know that I um, have encountered the Antichrist spirit several times. And when I say this, I mean when you are interacting with people who do not have his Holy Spirit, you are encountering the Antichrist spirit through them. Okay? It doesn't have to be a weird voice coming out of another vessel. Um when you're interacting with people and they're still going through their own spiritual warfare they're still Jacob wrestling with the Lord you know I'm not saying that what's completely running their vessel at all times is the Antichrist spirit no that's not the case not now anyhow not until um, the Lord removes his hand completely you know, but the Lord is still here. We're still here. The Holy Spirit is still here. Um, 
and um, that's why I just don't understand where people think that you know judgment is happening um, right now yes and no and what I mean by that is yes judgment is happening um, on a daily basis where you know someone pe could become born again today or someone could be um, further walking down that path to destruction so you know yes judgment is occurring on a daily basis but the judgment the judgment the final judgment um, hasn't begun yet because again the Holy Spirit is still here um, so it doesn't make sense that the judgment of the world is happening while the Holy Spirit is here at least not to me it doesn't make sense and I'm not saying that I'm trying to make sense of it in a carnal way you know um, but the church um, will be removed and that doesn't mean that we physically um, will not be here it doesn't mean that at all and people who speak upon, you know, like the rapture, for instance, it's like, well, those that have become born again have already been raptured. You know, my, I'm walking in the Lord's kingdom, which means I'm walking in truth. You know, I know, I know the Lord because I know truth, because I'm walking by the spirit, the spirit of truth. So I'm not of this world. I'm not. I'm not in. Um, I'm not in Satan's kingdom anymore. That's why the natural man, those that are still walking in darkness, you know, they don't have discernment, and they can't see. There's a lot of Christians waiting for Christ to be here, and Christ could be staring you right in the face through someone who has his Holy Spirit that you may have been in the presence or had a conversation with with Christ because those who have his Holy Spirit is walking with him okay is following truth when someone's speaking truth Christ is in your presence Okay, when someone's speaking truth and walking in truth, Christ is in your presence because Jesus Christ is truth. People don't understand that. They're looking in the clouds for Christ to come in the clouds. And I'm not saying that that's not going to happen um, uh, after tribulation, okay, after judgment, okay. But those that are, you know, waiting for Jesus to be here, he is here. He is here. He resides in the 144,000. He resides in our temples that make up the new Jerusalem. We are the city of peace. We may be a remnant and we may be scattered we're not all gathered together yet but we we are israel once you stop wrestling with the lord once you stop being jacob wrestling with the lord and um getting out of that spiritual warfare it's like i'm not saying that the antichrist spirit doesn't come around and say things to tempt me you know, it happens where, you know, I come across individuals who remind me of my old self, who do things and say things that I used to do. And it's the Lord showing me um, something where um, I've been tempted 
and thought about when I say tempted I don't mean like in a big way but I've thought about how I should interact with certain people and what I should say to them because I know that I would want if you know them being who I used to be you know I know I would want love and understanding from someone regardless of whether or not they're speaking truth I would want them to be kind to me and not judgmental and I'm not judging anyone around me when I see someone that that is doing things and saying things that I used to do that is me the Lord is showing me that's me that's you and what I do is I pray for them I don't get involved and I don't make it my business. I don't tell them what to do. You know, it's not my business to do that. If the Lord wants to intercede, the Lord will have me pray for them. That's what the Lord has me do. Those of us who hear his voice, it's not an audible voice, is if the Lord is calling me to pray for someone and have understanding for them and have love for them. You know, that's the Lord. But when I say that the Antichrist spirit tries to tempt me, is the Antichrist spirit wants me to make it my business and um, go over and um, tell them what to do. And, and, and that's your flesh. That's the carnal man. Okay, that's the natural man. And I'm not walking by my flesh anymore. So again, you know, those who make it their business and duty to call people out, that's not what the Lord um, wants you to do. That's not what he's asked you to do. Um, you're still the natural man that doesn't have discernment. That if you're walking by the Spirit, you don't involve yourself in other people's matters. You pray for them. You pray for them. So, I'm sorry that I don't edit my videos. But, yeah, the spiritual warfare is there are not many of us who have taken ourselves out of the world and are truly walking by the Spirit, who's walking in the truth and who is praying for others rather than making it our business to, um, I don't know, you know, that's worldly going around. Ugh. Sorry, there was a bee on me. <laughs> Going around. Um, being foolish. It is, it is foolish. It is foolish. It's not wise. It's not wise to... To... Um, go on your own and... Um, have the Antichrist spirit baiting you and you're taking the bait. It's not wise to take the bait. Um, there are so many times where the Lord knows that I've wanted to say something and yet I made the choice to bring everything to the Lord and leave it between me and the Lord. And He knows. He knows my heart. He knows that I'm really making a concerted effort to walk with him and be guided by him and to stay on that narrow path. Whoa. <laughs> well, I love you. I hope everyone has a good rest of their weekend and I hope I planted a good seed. I'm just sharing my testimony and God bless.